The Family Gone Too Soon. Item number 6784. Level 3 Confidential. Containment Class Euclid. Disruption Class Vlam. Risk Class Danger. Special Containment Procedures. As SCP-6784's properties do not allow it to be relocated, containment is focused on securing a 75-meter by 75-meter perimeter around the affected area. The perimeter must be maintained by at least two Level 3 security personnel. Security personnel are to discourage unauthorized access, with claims that the property is condemned. All Foundation personnel stationed at SCP-6784 are required to have never owned a pet under the genus Canis, including domesticated dogs, during their childhood. All SCP-6784-A instances are to be terminated by on-site mobile task force operatives to prevent the mimetic effects of said instances. In the case of exposure to the mimetic effects of SCP-6784-A, Exposed personnel must be admitted to Foundation medical personnel for a full psychiatric evaluation before being cleared to return to duty. In the case of a movement of SCP-6784, Mobile Task Force Delta-91, Dog Sitters, is to deploy to locate the new instance of SCP-6784. Mobile Task Force Delta-91, Dog Sitters, is a small MTF designated to contain SCP-6784 as well as instances of SCP-6784-A. Members of MTF Delta-91 are to be equipped with suppressed weapons, as well as small yield fragmentation grenades used to trigger an emergency shift of SCP-6784. In the event of civilians breaching the containment perimeter, task force operatives are to detain individuals and alert the Site-8 command for further instructions. Mobile task force operatives stationed on-site are encouraged to attend monthly group therapy and counseling sessions by Foundation medical personnel. Description SCP-6784 is a 1 meter by 1.5 meter by 1 meter doghouse, currently located in northern Wyoming. The doghouse appears to be homemade, with black and white paint that is well worn. If SCP-6784 is approached by any living human who possessed a pet canine during their adolescence, an instance of SCP-6784-A will manifest from the opening of SCP-6784. All instances of SCP-6784-A should be considered a mimetic hazard and must be terminated on site, as those under the effect of SCP-6784-A will become aggressively defensive of the instance, displaying signs of extreme devotion and guilt. In 95% of observed cases, SCP-6784-A instances exit SCP-6784 only when an individual who cared for a pet canine is in the vicinity. SCP-6784-A instances appear as domestic dogs in various states of post-mortem decay. Interviews with affected individuals suggest that these manifestations take the appearance of pets that perished while under the care of the interviewee. However, when asked to describe SCP-6784-A, all individuals insisted that these instances appeared to be in good health. SCP-6784-A manifestations began to deteriorate into a vapor consisting primarily of carbon dioxide, euphorians, and redacted after termination. Instances will completely decay within 12 to 34 hours, therefore no corpse disposal is needed on site. Autopsies of terminated SCP-6784-A corpses revealed large populations of data expunged, leading to the theory that SCP-6784 is able to strengthen its unusual properties by converting emotional energy into a fuel source. Following this discovery, all testing proposals must be submitted to the Ethics Committee for approval. Despite the Foundation's best efforts, attempts to move SCP-6784 into containment at Site 8 have failed as any man-made disturbances to SCP-6784 or the land within one meter around the SCP will cause the anomaly to shift. When this occurs, the structure will collapse and rematerialize in an area within a 250 kilometer radius. If this should occur, MTF Delta-91 dog sitters are to locate and secure SCP-6784. Note that any natural events 
such as heavy rain or wind, will not cause rematerialization unless it poses a threat to the structural integrity of the object. Discovery Log 6784-DL-A The anomaly was discovered by Foundation agents on May 17, 2016, after local law enforcement was notified of deceased pets returning home. Embedded Foundation agents within blank County Police Department took notice and prompted an investigation. The investigation led the agents to an abandoned house, located in Northern blank, where SCP-6784 was discovered to be the source of the disturbance. The house and the surrounding area were purchased by a Foundation Shell company, posing as a real estate agency. Addendum 6784-24-C1 Testing to observe the mimetic effects of SCP-6784-A instances was approved by Site Aid Administration and the Ethics Committee. Test 6784-EE-14 Subject D78031 Procedure One minute of exposure to SCP-6784-A Results Following one minute of exposure to SCP-6784-A's effects, the subject was removed from the instance without incident, though with minor difficulty. The instance was swiftly terminated, to the dismay of the subject. No observable short-term effects were discovered following the test. D78031 was released back to Site-8 custody after an extensive psychiatric evaluation. Subject D59471 Procedure 5 minutes of exposure to SCP-6784-A Results Following 5 minutes of exposure to SCP-6784-A's effects, Security attempted to remove the subject from SCP-6784-A. Removal attempts were met with minor resistance. When finally removed, D-59471 showed signs of separation anxiety and paranoia. These effects ceased 20 minutes after the termination of the instance. D-59471 was kept in Site 8 Psychiatric Wing for 24 hours following the test, and no short-term effects were observed during this period. Subject, D-32154 Procedure, 10 minutes of exposure to SCP-6784-A Results, following 10 minutes of exposure to SCP-6784-A's effects, security's attempts to remove SCP-32154 from the instance were met with elevated levels of resistance, which resulted in the injury of a single on-site security personnel. D-32154 was briefly incapacitated, Due to the violent reaction from this test, researcher Blank requested to speak to D-32154. The request was granted by Dr. Hughes. Below is a transcript of researcher Blank's interview with the subject. Subject, D-37410. Procedure, 30 minutes of exposure to SCP-6784-A. Results, following 30 minutes of exposure to SCP-6784-A's effects, Attempts to remove the subject from the instance were met with extreme violence. Removal attempts resulted in the injuries of three on-site security personnel, as well as junior researcher, blank. D-37410 was terminated after throwing themselves in front of the instance, as on-site security attempted to terminate the instance of SCP-6784-A. Subject. Redacted. Procedure. One hour of exposure to SCP-6784-A. Results. Redacted. Personnel with clearance level 4 6784 may view incident log blank 01. After this disaster of a test, the Ethics Committee has ordered all testing on 6784 to cease. We don't need to be wasting D-Class on this. 05-6. Below is an interview with one of the subjects exposed to the effects of SCP-6784-A. Test 6784-EE-14, Subject D-32154. D-32154 enters the interview room. Since exposure to SCP-6784-A, the subject has shown behavior that suggests a severely depressed mood. Inaudible speech is recorded while the subject sits down across from researcher blank. D-32154, thank you for agreeing to talk to me. I understand your recent test with the doghouse has affected your emotional well-being, 
I hope talking to someone will help you. There is a brief silence before researcher Blank speaks again. D-32-154, can you explain to me what you saw? My boy, Doc. My best friend, Odie. I miss him so much. Somehow always knew I would see him again. Odie, that was your pet dog as a kid, wasn't it? You mentioned that during your test briefing. Could you describe how Odie looked when he exited the doghouse? Uh, wiry black hair with his big white paws? You're so happy to see me again, Doc. I don't think I ever saw that tail wag so much. I would have looked like his old self before my dad, uh... uh. D-32-154, do you mind sharing with me how you felt when you saw Odie again? Love and anger. Odie was taken from me, Doc. You f just ripped me away from him again. He's still at the doghouse. What do I have to do to go back to him? Anything, please. I need to be with him again. Please. Y'all know better than my dad. D-32-154's crying escalates into incoherency. Researcher Blank decides to end the interview after several questions were ignored. Following this interview, D-32-154 was transferred to Site 8 Psychiatric Wing for 72 hours. Short-term effects, such as depression and anxiety, were observed. No long-term effects have been observed as of writing.